So uh, this um, problem asks us if an equal amounts of helium and argon are placed in a porous container and allowed to escape, which gas will escape faster and how much faster? So what I did is I took the liberty of writing down the molar masses of each one of these gases prior to doing this problem. And I got the molar mass from where? The periodic table, right? Okay. So in order to do this problem, I have to understand that it wants to it wants us to use Graham's effusion law, okay? So what is that? Well, it's the rate of gas one divided by the rate of gas two. That equals the square root of the molar mass of gas two to the molar mass of gas one, okay? So it's asking us which gas will escape faster. So that's the first question. Which gas would escape faster? Can we just look at these gases and know? Which one would it be? Yeah, yeah. Helium, why would you say that? It's much lighter. more lighter. It's molar mass it's is smaller. smaller, right? Or if we're looking at its molecular weight, yeah, it's a much uh, less heavy molecule, right? Okay, so the other question, how much faster, is referring to what is this ratio here, right? So this to one. Okay, so in other words, let's rearrange this, or let's make this equation to say helium and argon here, okay? So rate of helium we'll put on top, rate of argon we'll put on the bottom. Why did I put helium on top? Because we know that's going to go faster than argon, okay? So this will be a bigger number than this one. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? So this is going to be then argon, and this will be helium. So notice this problem didn't give us any rate information at all. It just asks us what, how many times faster is helium going to be. So what it's really looking for is, like I just said, this ratio here. Is everybody okay with that? So in other words, what we need to figure out is the molar mass of R, or the square root of the molar mass of argon divided by the molar mass of helium. What is that? And in this case, it says how much faster. So um, we'll say, we'll just say that ratio, okay? Or we could say that was x or something like that. So in order to do that, well, we just plug our values into this equation. So 39.95 grams per mole divided by 4.00 grams per mole. And we'll use these numbers as significant figures, even though you usually don't from the periodic table, since we don't have any other numbers. We'll just use these ones. Um, cancel out grams per mole, of course. Right? So when we do this, take 39.95 divided by 4 and then take the square root of that answer, and I get 3.16, okay, with no units, right? So what is that telling us? So really it's a 3.16 to 1 ratio, right? Does everybody understand what I'm saying here? Where I'm saying that um, helium rate of diffusion is 3.16 times faster than the rate of effusion of argon. Does that make sense? So if argon's rate is 1, whatever units we're using, helium's is going to be 3.16. Does that make sense? Okay. So this is the ratio of the rate of diffusion. And that gives us, like what this says, how many times faster. Does that make sense to everybody? Any questions on that? Okay. You sure? Questions? No questions?